behind these light sealed doors. This is nuts. Three single men and three single women okay, wait. will meet in complete darkness. Do you care if I touch your face? Yeah, just so, go ahead, get right in there. So you don't shake. And will be filmed using infrared cameras, which can see everything the participants cannot. A little, I've got a little happiness. <laughs> will they find true love based on personality alone? Kiss me on the lips. And what surprise will await one of these unsuspecting singles? This is a new experiment, no doubt about it. The men and women will live in separate wings of the house, with no chance of seeing each other outside of the dark room. Then, at the end of the hour, they will choose the one partner that they want to see revealed. What will happen when the lights are finally turned on? Oh my God! Will they continue to date, or will they walk away, leaving their partner behind? I didn't think it was going to be this hard for me. It's the age-old question, is love blind? These people are about to find out by Dating in the Dark. My name is Dion. I'm a photographer. My dating history has been a lot of relationship to the next relationship. Some people call it commitment phobia. But I want to get married and have kids, so I'm just holding out for the one. I'm interested in this experiment mainly because I have an opportunity to meet women and I don't get to base my judgments on their physical appearance. Clearly, that's something new. <laughs> My name is Leo, I'm a graphic designer and a hardcore nerd. I pretty much am into everything that is nerd related, video games, movies, TV, and I'm not shy about it one bit. The kind of girl that's right for me would be someone who's patient and understanding. It wouldn't hurt if she liked all this nerdy stuff that I'm into. Let's go. Dion. Leo. Leo, good well, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Malik. I'm from Tunisia. I'm a teacher and a musician. My looks sometimes helps me get dates, but I really value somebody that can challenge me in a way. I'm nervous. Because being Muslim, you know, I'm constantly judged. But this experiment, like, puts us in a situation where there is no color, no, like, no boundaries, basically, you know? Hey, how you guys doing? Look at the cat drag in. I'm Dion. Right. Malik. My name's Lisa. It's been over a year that I've been divorced, and I'm just kind of rediscovering who I am. I definitely attract a lot of guys with my looks. So I'm here trying to find and connect with somebody on a personality level to see if they're really into me for who I am, not what I look like. Oh my God. <laughs> my name is Tanya and I'm an executive assistant. I'm like such a romantic, but I'm afraid of being rejected or that I won't find anybody. It's scary because Guys are usually interested in my personality first, and then the looks come after. Hi. Oh, Tanya. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. My name's Tawny, and I'm a bartender. I love outgoing guys. The more outgoing, the better. Also, someone who's strong like me, who's not going to let me walk on them, because I will walk on someone if they let me. I think what has held me back from finding a partner oh, wow. is the fact that I am so loud and outgoing because that's how I want to be like. This is who I am, not for my outer shell. I'm Tawny. Nice hey, to meet you, Tawny. Yeah. How are you? Hey. I'm nervous? Good. Totally nervous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you only live once, right? <laughs> Hey, fellas, how you doing? What's going on? Hello, hello. My name's Rossi. I'm gonna be your host while you guys are here. So here's the deal. You guys are gonna be totally separated from the women the entire time, opposite ends of the house. Uh, the only time you guys will actually get to be with them is in this dark room. And I'm telling you, it is pitch black in there. Right on. To kick things off, we're gonna start off with a group date. So you can actually get to know these guys first. Okay. okay. So you will have the support of each other. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So have fun, and I will see you a little bit later, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. I have had some blind date experiences, but this is a new experiment, no doubt about it. Ready? Yeah. All right, we're going in. <laughs> oh, my God. This is nuts. Oh, my Whoa. God. This okay. is crazy. This is like insane. <laughs> oh, you found the table. All right, my knee just found the table. I think being in that dark room was not unlike a crazy haunted house, only your eyes never adjust. You're hoping they do, and you're thinking they do, but you know they won't, and they never do. Okay, here. Wait, do I go to the right? You're doing fine. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
<laughs> okay, so just go straight a little bit and straight. then to the right. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. Okay, I feel the table. Oh, I feel a chair. Oh, you found the table. Okay, I'm <laughs> sitting in my chair. I'm sitting and I'm not moving. All right. Okay, why do I only hear two guys? Yeah. <laughs> Where's three. the other one? I'm here. One's quiet. <laughs> why don't we, why don't, let's yeah, get let's the absolute introduction. Okay, over here, I'm Dion. To my right is Leo. Leo, yeah. And then Malik. Malik. Malik, excuse Malik. the pronunciation. Okay. And he's the quiet one. Let it out, let it out. It will be out. Oh, oh my god. I use my hands a lot. I'm Mediterranean, so it's like, it's all about, you know, your gestures. So for me, not having that, I felt almost handicapped. So I'm Lisa. I'm Tanya. And I'm Tani. Tani, Tanya, and Lisa. Go Leo, go Leo. And you know what's great is I'm pointing at you like I know. Like, <laughs> You're in the middle, so I know that. Yeah. What do you guys do? They're like executives, and I'm a bartender. <laughs> I'm like, yes. That's cool. All right, I am a girl who does introduce myself as crazy. What I'm looking for is someone who is strong like me. Like, I can't deal with someone who's like gonna let me walk on him like a carpet. So that's me. Well said. Okay. Wow. Honey was interesting to me, but I'm thinking little too boisterous for me because I'm boisterous and I think two big thunderclouds are gonna make some serious storms. So what do you guys do? I'm a singer, oh, songwriter, wow. yeah. I guess I'm romantic, like you could say, you know. Oh. So I teach and uh, I do music, you know, on the side. Teach what? French, Italian, and uh, Arabic. Wow! wow. Like I speak Spanish too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Malik is sweet, adorable, romantic. You know, he has this accent and it was like, oh, I could see myself liking that. Okay, next. Okay. Dion. Dion. Uh, I'm a photographer. Okay, and Leo. I'm a graphic designer, so I do like websites and all, any kind of visual oh. material. You are a huge computer nerd. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would try to hide it, but there would be no point. No, really. you should never hide it. That's yeah, rad. When you're in the dark, you just base your entire feelings on their personality. So it was good to just have it be about them. And then when I was talking, I wasn't nervous about how I looked. I could just talk. All right, good luck. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Let's pretend to shake hands. <laughs> Where's the door handle? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay, I found the door. All right, now go talk about it. <laughs> Malik sounded That's like he was yeah. French. I could see him with like dark hair, maybe olive skin. What'd you think? Who was your favorite? Right now, I just want to say Leo just because he's more outgoing and I'm outgoing, so. Yeah? I could just see him with like spiky blonde hair. Early on, I was like, when the girl's yeah. talking, who's talking? Because what if I end up like picturing this girl and it's like a little piece of all three of them? You could be so wrong. Coming up next, how would you like to get to know something about these guys in the light? The women and men snoop through each other's cars. Oh my god, condoms. Oh my god. I mean, I don't have condoms in my cup holders. And the individual dates begin. I know, I've, got a little, I've got a little happiness. <laughs> More to love. When dating in the dark continues. Well, ladies, so you got to know a little bit about these guys in the dark. How would you like to get to know something about these guys in the light? Oh, yes. 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 Perfect. I have a surprise for you waiting outside. So, ladies, follow me. Okay. So now you can tell obviously a lot about a guy from what he drives, uh -huh. but even more importantly, from what's inside his car. Now, these cars are exactly the way the guys left them. So here's what's gonna happen. You have 10 minutes on each car, you go through it together and just find absolutely everything you can. Now, and don't feel bad because they will be going through your cars later. Oh my. God. All right? <laughs> so ladies, are you ready? We're ready, yes. Let's Get to go. it. Okay. That's nice. Oh, so clean. Let's see his shirt size. Oh, Extra large. Oh, here's all his like camera stuff. And a volleyball. Dan's car was very organized, very clean. Hearing his personality and everything, and then seeing how he takes care of things was big for me. Leo's car was in an accident, clearly, and didn't get it fixed. Goggles? I feel like he spies on people with this. <laughs> I think Leo is a complete nerd, but he seems like he's fun, and that's what I'm looking for. What is this motor? Oh my god. My god. <laughs> Put it on! Are you serious? Leo had, like, a ghost 